Hey guys, thanks for joining me for a new video. As you can see today, I'm joined by the very beautiful Mary J's Halls on YouTube. Of course, I'll link to her channel in the description. And a surprise guest, we got Pablo in the house as well. He's wondering how he made it into both uh, Halloween videos that I recorded this week. Um, but I don't think anybody minds seeing him every now and then, so... Hey, shout out to Pablo. Shout out to Pablo. All right, so in today's video, we're going to show some of our favorite Halloween couples shirts and group t-shirts because what's better than one halloween t-shirt sale two two and what's better than two multiple <laughs> yeah <laughs> my record i've said it said it a couple times but my record is 20 sales of one shirt in one like halloween order that is ridiculous and it was the ugliest design you've ever seen if i show it to you you're gonna be pissed i want to see it i'll show it to you all right uh we're gonna get started now All right, and since I didn't just want to show Marielle off camera, here is the shirt that I was referring to. I think it's good. He thinks it's stupid, but I think it's genuinely brilliant because it's so simple and so easy to do, but I'm sure it sells. Anyone acting like a prisoner from any show or anything like that, that it's, it's, I think it's genius. But. Yeah, it's genius. There you go. I'm a genius. Uh, <laughs> this is like probably four years old, so it just goes to show that shirts that you make and upload four years ago can still sell. Yeah, for sure. I think it's four years, 17 to 21. Yeah, yeah. four years. Okay, so now we got that out the way. I mean, hey, this could also fit the, the video because I uploaded a couple of these and I just switched up the numbers. So, um, yeah. And also, did it did it not sell today? You saw. It sold today. It sold today, <laughs> which I didn't expect because it's such an ugly shirt. All right, so the real first group uh Halloween costume t-shirts that you can sell on Am or actually I don't know if you can sell this on Amazon why because I always get suspicious I don't know what it is I get spidey senses tingling uh personally I've never tried to sell a crayon oh that makes sense but Brand. to me it just feels like it's probably not pushing safe. it yeah um I do have that one video called is this niche safe and I always recommend you guys check out that video like I'm surprised the view count on that video isn't higher it's still at like 2,500. I just remind people to watch it and then nobody does, but like, please always keep your account safe. Um, any comments on this? I think it's super cute, but again, yeah, once you said that, I agree. It's probably not a, the best, safest idea. Yeah, to say probably the least. Um, maybe you can do it if you just make it say like blue. You'd see how some of them say crayon. Like maybe, yeah. maybe it's the word crayon. I don't know. But anyways, this is just for the, the video. So I, I'm not recommending necessarily to sell these. Uh, another classic here, salt and pepper. I love the font and the period after. I think the font is really what sells it. Isn't that interesting that they I made like a really the, good font selection? I think the font selection was perfect. Yeah, I agree. It also reminds me of uh, Nilly and Onyx. <laughs> That's weird. But... The other two chihuahuas because we had like one of them was like white and black and the other one was black and white. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Uh, and then here's another take on salt and pepper. Smart with the textured font again because it's granular. Yeah, it good. yeah. And also... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. When I was doing my, like, niche research for the Sunday video series, there were shirts that said S, and I didn't understand what was going on. So if you're doing print-on-demand, how do you sell these two as a set? Yeah, well, actually, I was just – I did an interview earlier today with uh, Brennan. He's on Etsy, and he's, like, an Etsy guru, and he was talking about how he takes that approach because on Etsy, you can actually, like, change your primary thumbnail, and you have complete control over the listings and – Okay, well, that'd be interesting to know for Etsy, too, how to sell a set. The answer to your question on Amazon is, I don't think you can. Okay, so they would have to look it up individually. Right, but what's interesting is, like, you know, the algorithm kind of figures it out and will learn to suggest the other half. I'm sure if you keep your brand name the same, et cetera. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so enough people find them and add them to cart together. The algorithm learns and starts linking them up. And then yeah. what's interesting is you'll even notice it in search results or on, like, the research tools. That sometimes they they link link up right next to each other in BSR because they're constantly purchased together. Um, so yeah, that's a ideal um, setting, I guess, scenario to have two sales at a time, <laughs> double chichings. Uh, what do you think about this fire and ice? I mean, I, I like it. I like what they did with it. But again, like, I don't understand how they're selling this one. As I said, the brand names are different and it's generic instant costume tees. Like, I don't know if I found like. But then you could do ice, ice baby. Like. <laughs> Part of the issue is like, I don't know if I can always find like the designer who made the matching ones because they might not necessarily sell together. Got you. Okay. So um, you're, you're grouping these together. Yeah. I personally. probably could have clicked the, the like brand ice and fire couples matching i'm sure it would have been the same and it would anyways. i would have found it yeah so but these two actually of all the ones we're going to show on the video these two sold the best really yeah 
Okay. I, I pulled up flying research and like it's these not my two favorite, were but... in the top ten together. So oh, wow. Yeah, they sell incredibly well. I don't know if we'd ever think to wear fire and ice costumes, but no, we wouldn't because we're better than that. <laughs> we <laughs> we'd think be of more, better puns. We'd I be like more puns. plug in socket or I, I I have my favorite at the end. A put boy and call girl or something like that yeah, for the investors. <laughs> whoop whoop. Um, uh, Taco Bell. I think sauces. this is super cute. Mild but wild. I'm bringing saucy back. I think it's mm -hmm. adorable, but again, I personally would never wear it as a costume. But it's well, not people about who are me. into Taco Bell might. Yeah, for sure. Although I don't know, I always get worried that it's so close to Taco Bell. It's like that's probably the Taco Bell font. You know, it's. It looks like it. They did really close, if not. But it doesn't. As long as I feel like they didn't say Taco Bell in there. Yeah, they'd probably be fine not, if they just didn't say Taco Bell. Like, I, I think it would probably... I, I would rather sell this than the crayons if I had to choose. You yeah. Know? I just feel like the crayons is a trap. Uh, next one. Oh, this was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> this was selling pretty well as a Halloween shirt. And it's just like, you could have the, the girlfriend dress up as a taco sauce and then the guy can wear the I love her taco shirt. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Next up, uh, she's my trick. He's my treat with the pointing fingers. I think that's cute. I really think that's cute. Although you're the trick, I'm the treat. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whatever you say. Uh, and one thing that I noticed too when I was prepping for the video is that there's like a bunch of shirts that just like, like you don't have to sell everything as a set. You can also just make a nice template. And I'm going to show my favorite one as a part of my favorite design at the end where it's like, I'm with the point. Yeah. And then you just swap in and out the word underneath, I'm with the. I should have honestly done this as a case study and used it to promote uh, Automate POD. Because it'll swap in and out those words. Yep. And all you need is a list of like things that people could have a shirt that they dress up as. All right, there we go. Plug and socket. I thought that was pretty funny. I think that's cute too. Because you, you can dress up as like the whole costume, but like the shirt does justice pretty well. Yeah, I'm more of a full costume gal myself. Yeah, I mean, me too. I dressed up as Spider-Man in the video I recorded earlier. You did? For the intro. I had the full hoodie zipped up. You didn't come say hi up. to me? No. <laughs> Maybe this weekend. But it was funny because I was like, I couldn't barely see and I was like trying to record You're the intro. You get like pepper spray walking into my room <laughs> like that with unannounced. Um, avocado. Avocado toast. I think that's cute. Someone, uh, I don't have a picture I don't here. love the toast shirt, but I think it could have been more animated like the avocado if they're trying to sell them together, but... Yeah, I always wonder, the, the toast picture, I always wonder if that's going to translate into a good I feel, print or not. I feel like you could get an animated version of a toast picture, you yeah. know, just like a fake one. And I think it would honestly look so much better and more compatible. But I like their font, though. If it's Check two out the font. different brands. With the little, like, under yeah, color. The avocado part's good. I don't really yeah. like the I'm um, with the... Yeah. And um, what was I going to say? Oh, there was somebody who marketed theirs as a vegan Halloween costume choice keywords that could make a huge difference i thought that it was is, smart because if someone goes smart. to there's too many people alive that use amazon for not somebody to type in like vegan halloween costume yeah and show up uh and find that avocado shirt as opposed to the best seller you know i know this made me think of one of my favorite all-time favorite costumes i've ever done I'm, i love my puns you know that which so one was, was that stevie wonder bread so i made my pants completely out of wonder bread slices they were like 18 pounds and dogs were chasing me uber drivers made me sit on trash bags i was <laughs> dropping full-on bread slices everywhere but that i don't know she why. likes to make I her own you, costumes full-on costume kind of gal all right so she won't be purchasing a merch t-shirt but no all right, this one, classic. Milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. Like, I started... on the milk. If you go further, far enough down the rabbit hole where you get outside of the best sellers, you start finding stuff like this that, like, are pretty cool. Yeah. And they sell, but they're not making anybody rich. I'm with the egg. I'm with the bacon. This is pretty smart. Yeah. There was cool. a really good boiled egg design, too, that I wanted to throw up here, but I didn't know what to pair it with. But it was good. Okay. King and queen. Oh, that's cute. Classic. Um, I uploaded like some simple, simple like card deck of cards designs where each each uh, card and they sell. See, if I did a costume like this, I would make my pants or a shirt out of the actual cards. Yeah, yeah. You go above and beyond. <laughs> Halloween's my holiday. There you go. This is you. 70s bro and 80s. 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. Yep. Those are my realms. Which if you had to choose 70s or 80s? Late 70s. That's cheating. Why? I don't know. That sounds like 80s to me. No, late 70s. What the, about late 80s? Not late 80s. That's when I Early, was born. Early. It's late 70s. <laughs> Funk. All right. 70s it is. 70s is the winner. 
Oh, peanut butter jelly. I really just, Classic. I like the graphic on this more than yeah. anything. I think they chose the great graphic. And you see like a fake piece of bread rather than like an actual image of a piece of bread. Remember, I used to do that. I used to like, when I first started merch, I would take a picture of an actual thing yeah. and then literally cut she everything did that with, out. Brussels with sprouts. Brussels sprouts. It said every day I'm Brussels. Um, but it looks so much better when you just do an animated version of it. Yeah, this is a good example. If you guys have the time, just use the search merch tool and type in like peanut butter and jelly costume. And you'll literally see a ton of different designs, but you'll see like this one to me was the clear cut winner. Yeah. Just the way that they did it. They chose the right co shirt color, contrast, everything designs really good. And also how easy was it? They just swapped out the color of the, uh, yep. the middle. You know what I mean? It's so easy. Uh, lemon lime. Okay. You know, simple, but yeah, I figured simple. I'd throw it up there. And then the lime again, Ooh. half and half. See, there's a lot of ways you guys can do this. I probably, we should have done this video like a month ago, honestly, <laughs> but it's Halloween week. So I'm milking it for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, that's a good, a good design. All right. And my favorite, Ooh. anybody watching this, you may be able to guess since I've already plugged this shirt, but <laughs> I love the traffic cone shirt. It's so stupid. I, but now it's a I couple's. <laughs> It, but somebody else likes the traffic cone shirt as much as I did because someone else went out of their way to make a shirt that says I'm with the traffic cone. I personally, I don't get it. Well, because you know, traffic cones are orange. Yeah. I get so that. it's just a stupid orange shirt that says I'm a traffic cone. Okay. I just like it because it's so dumb. I know. And because look, it has 21 reviews. <laughs> People I mean, are purchasing this shirt. Good for them. Good for them. Like it's so dumb. And to take it one degree further, there's a shirt that says I'm with the traffic cone. So maybe it's destiny. Maybe we should just buy it. And we'll have our Halloween costumes done. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, let us know what your favorite was in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot I was going to plug a Thanksgiving idea for couples because this one's already climbing. That's the cute. Yeah. She's my sweet potato. I am. I am. See, I like puns. This is more my stuff than the traffic cone thing. But yeah, this is already climbing the uh, the ranks. Yeah, look at it. So 152 ratings. Yeah, these these crush every year. So, um, But they're already popping up, so I figured I'd plug it real quick as it's time to start Thanksgiving. All right. Yeah. All right, and uh, subscribe to Marielle's channel whoop, since whoop. she decided to stop by and do a guest appearance. She's doing her fourth quarter. Challenge. Fourth, qu fourth quarter challenge, second year in a row. Yes, I revamped my account solely for the fourth quarter because, uh, I mean, my YouTube account solely for the fourth quarter because from a year to ago to today, I've made such great progress. I mean, he was teaching me along with you guys, and now I feel like I'm kind of branching off on my own, still asking him questions all the time. Um, and I also have an Etsy challenge using the same print-on-demand designs as Amazon, So and that's nice. going really well. Nice, yep. So keep up with her progress, see what works. She's very transparent. Uh, check out her channel, top of the description. I'll link it at the top. Yeah. Ooh, easy to click. Uh, and then while you're down in the description, guys, I've got the free eight day print on demand mini course. I got the Facebook group. If you guys aren't in there, click that and join. And I have a full print on demand course walking you through how I make six figure sales where you'll be soon <laughs> <laughs> every year. It's not April Fool's yeah. yet. Eventually. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.